So, you got caught. They got you. You cheated. Now what? The answer to that question is a great big, that depends. Hi, I'm Margaret Meek, and this is what to expect when you get caught cheating. Before we go any further, From Nest to Wings reminds all students that it is best to learn the material. It is highly preferred for you to do your own work. We also believe that you are hurting yourself and the other students in the course by cheating. However, with over 80% of students admitting that they have cheated, it is safe to say that not everyone holds themselves to a higher standard. Please start your decision making on whether or not to cheat by watching this video that offers definitions and ways to avoid academic dishonesty. So if you're going to cheat, at least know what you're getting yourself into. First, make sure you read your school's student code of conduct. In that document will be a definition of cheating and a listing of the penalties for engaging in cheating. Next, you need to acknowledge that there is some personal interpretation on the part of the instructor or school administrator in administering discipline. Whether in high school or college, it will depend on the instructor who finds the misdeed, the academic administrators, and the size of the intellectual dishonesty that will impact the disciplinary outcome. Handling of past allegations, the scope of the academic dishonesty, the size of the group caught cheating at the same time, the written policies for the class or the school can all influence the outcome of the investigation and the level of discipline. In high school, you can receive punishments such as failing that assignment, being asked to replace the assignment with a more extensive, more time-consuming, more difficult task, or you may be failed in that class, may be suspended from school, could face expulsion, and there could be a note placed on your school record that notes your dishonesty, and that note might be shared with the colleges to which you wish to apply or to scholarship selection boards. And in high school, you may also face the disciplinary step of having your parents or guardians involved in the outcome. For college students, the options include failing that assignment, being asked to replace the assignment with a more extensive, more time-consuming, more difficult task, or you may be failed in that class. You may face expulsion, and there could be a note placed on your school record that notes your dishonesty, and that note might be shared with employers to which you apply or to scholarship selection boards. Remember that if you fail a class in college, you have to pay more tuition for another course to replace the credits you didn't earn. Now that you know the possible penalties, we need to warn that instructors and administrators have seen many cheating scenarios. They know students copy homework, share test files, buy papers off the internet, sneak notes into tests, and send test questions to services to receive the answers. Just when you think you are clever enough to get away with cheating, some things can trip you up. If you misspell words the same way as the student whose answers are being copied, you indicate you are cheating. High school teachers and college instructors know that students walk out of the classroom and tell the students in the next session what is on the test. It is not unusual for teachers to have two alternatives for the test they wish to use for different sections of the same class, or changing the question ever so slightly to trip students up. If you use unique sentence structures or words in your assignment that are not common in your vocabulary, that's a warning. Even something as seemingly innocuous as your choice of seats can send up warning flags. If on test day, for the first time, you work hard to sit next to the brightest student in the class, that can indicate that you have plans to cheat. There are multiple stories of students in the same class turning in the same purchase paper or project, or my favorite, the student who decided that they didn't want to pay for the paper, they just turned in. So the author contacted the college and turned the student in for cheating out of spite for not getting paid. If there's a question about a service, such as say, Chegg, providing answers to test questions, those services will protect themselves. They will give any instructor who asks a list of everyone who saw a question, including emails, credit card names, IP addresses, and more. Justifiably, they will not hesitate to protect their business model if you are using their services to cheat. Understand that instructors know that test files are out there for their class. 
Sometimes those instructors will simply reorder the multiple choice answers to trip up students who didn't study the actual answers. Instead, they memorize the letter the correct answer had been assigned. For online tests, triggers include the angle of your camera, the timing of your responses, and your movements. If you think the multiple rules created to proctor integrity during online tests are cumbersome, you can thank the students who were caught cheating when those rules were not in place. While this listing hasn't been all inclusive, we hope it helps you understand that schools and instructors have dealt with cheating students before and know many of the hints they need to pay special attention to. So you get caught, what do you do? If you receive a graded assignment with a note about keeping your eyes on your own paper or doing your own work, you have been warned, don't cheat again. You can let the instructor know you heard the warning, letting them know you have no plans to repeat your dishonest behavior. If you are caught and have to go to a disciplinary hearing or a meeting in the principal's office, you need to determine if you wish anyone else to be in the meeting to help you hear the discussion and defend yourself. Having assistance is especially important if you have not cheated or done anything wrong. You may wish to have a family member, trusted friend, or legal counsel present. Having assistance will be even more important if the penalty being discussed involves suspension, expulsion, or having a notation on your transcript or in a file that can be shared with future schools or employers. Listen carefully, take notes on the discussion, and only provide the information you are specifically asked to provide. There are legal firms specializing in supporting students who face disciplinary action. Be sure you understand the cost before moving forward with this level of assistance. You should check with your college to see if legal advice is available at a discounted rate for students. Make sure that you understand the process that will be used from the moment of notification of an investigation. What are your rights? What is the timing? Who will have the decision-making power? And who will be the appeal authority? Plan your route through the disciplinary process carefully. If you are accused and have not cheated, be ready to document your behavior on the assignment in question. Determine if any witnesses can corroborate your story, and then be clear and consistent in your description of the incident. If you are guilty, you should still be clear and consistent with your description. You also need to investigate why you thought cheating was an answer that was more attractive than doing the work on your own. What can you do to avoid being in this position again? Remember, whether in high school or college, your school offers tutors, study sessions, time to ask instructors questions, or time to work with the instructor to better understand the material. You can plan your studies to reduce the pressure on any day to turn in homework or study for tests. And you can improve your time and study skills to set yourself up for success in high school, in college, and in your career. Education isn't always easy. Instructors don't really care if every class you have has an assignment due on the same day. You may doubt your ability to complete a test at the level needed to be successful. Sometimes the information being presented in class is simply not interesting to you. However, there are resources to assist you in getting through the difficult times in classes. Let us just end this by saying, if this is your first time getting in trouble for cheating on a homework assignment or other small assignment, take a deep breath and calm down. Most times, though, not guaranteed, instructors or schools will just give you a zero for the assignment and maybe a lecture about cheating. But don't do it again. And remember, even if they take it further, your life isn't over. It's something to learn from as you move forward. If you choose to cheat, you must be willing to pay the price if you are caught. Choose wisely. If you found any of this information useful, hit the like button or perhaps consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments down below.